Hello, welcome to this video in which we will explain the security measures for visits to APM terminals Algeciras, which, as you know, is one of the largest terminals in the Mediterranean. Basic Rules and Accreditation Visitors to the terminal must request access in advance. When they arrive in the terminal, they must go through the security gate to identify themselves. Remember that in the terminal, you must have your identification card visible, A security may request your documentation at any time. Visitors must be accompanied by an APM Terminals Algeciras employee and may only have access to the areas to which they have been expressly authorized is not allowed to take photos and videos without authorization. In addition, it is totally forbidden to introduce any type of bladed weapon or firearm. Surely you already know the harm of alcohol and other drugs while driving, so access to the terminal under the influence of alcohol and other substances is not allowed. We inform you that random alcohol and drug controls are carried out at the terminal. These controls are also carried out in the event of a collision or accident. If you witness a suspicious situation such as theft, vandalism, illicit traffic or intruders, immediately notify the security control at 1941 or if you call them from an external phone, 956-671. 941. Areas and buildings of the terminal, layout of the terminal. So that you become familiar with the terminal, below we show you the most popular areas and buildings. Main building, where the operations and maintenance area is located on the ground floor. North access turnstile. Workshops, warehouse, and yard crane repair area. Warehouse of chemical products in the maintenance area. Dangerous goods management tent. Groupage area. Bus stops. Pedestrian traffic lanes. Rest areas. Cafeteria, medical service, vehicles and machinery. There is a high density of heavy machinery in the terminal, so exercise caution. The main vehicles and machines you can find in our facility are the following. Tractors and trucks, reach stacker, forklift, yard cranes, also called RTG or Transtainer. Key cranes, also called STS or Portainer. Environmental recommendations. The terminal has a waste segregation system. Please deposit the waste in the appropriate container. Do not throw waste on the ground. Much of it ends up in the sea. Traffic rules. To access the yard, the key and workshops, a helmet, high visibility vest and safety shoes will be required. Regarding traffic regulations, the following must be considered. Pay close attention to machinery and always respect road signs. In general, the maximum speed will be 30 kilometers per hour paying attention to the curves and access to the mid-streets that will be limited between 10 and 15 kilometers per hour. It is mandatory to wear a seat belt in all types of vehicles. When driving, the use of mobile phones or any electronic device that may cause a distraction is prohibited. Park exclusively in authorized places and never in the area of operations. It is strictly prohibited to stop or park vehicles on the traffic lanes of yard or dock cranes and in the entire operations area of the portainers. 
the RTG cranes always have priority in the streets and traffic intersections since these cranes, due to their special characteristics, while moving, do not have a direct view of both sides. Therefore, it is very important that you do not invade the treads of the Transtainer cranes, which are the lines marked in yellow, and try to keep a certain distance from them. Pedestrian lanes. Walking is only allowed in the pedestrian lanes shown on the map. In the terminal, we have a bus line with different stops, so its use is recommended. Action in case of emergency. If you detect an emergency, notify APM Terminal's Alcathira staff immediately or call the Emergency Control Center 2222 or 956 633 463 if you call from an external telephone. On the 15th of each month at 12 o'clock, the evacuation siren will sound as a test. In case of activation of the evacuation alarm siren outside the date and time indicated above, please act according to the following indications. Stop what you are doing, disconnect the tools or devices you are using at that moment, and strictly follow the instructions of those responsible for the evacuation. Furthermore, leave the terminal in an orderly manner, by the least dangerous route, and go to the meeting point indicated. If you are not at your workplace, join the first evacuation group you find on your way. Once at the meeting point, contact your evacuation manager. A safe day is surely a great day. So remember, always keep a safe attitude.